Today we're gonna to explore three super easy, insanely delicious 15 minute dinner ideas. We all know that feeling of coming home after a really long day, feeling a little bit tired, maybe a bit lazy, and we wanna make something homemade, delicious, nutritious, but we don't want it to take so long. If that's the case, we've got you covered with today's video, and you know the drill. The breakdown to each of the recipes can be found on the blog with metric and imperial units of measurements. Links are in the description box below, and I wanna take a brief moment to thank Wix for partnering with us on today's video. They are the incredible platform that we use to create and to host the Pickup Limes website but I'll talk more about them at the end. For now, let's dive into those recipes. For the first dinner, we'll be making a Thai red curry soup with crispy tofu. First up, we'll cut an extra firm block of tofu into small squares. And to a large nonstick pan on medium heat, we're gonna add a tablespoon of coconut oil or other plant oil and add the tofu blocks as well. Then let the tofu sit and don't disturb it. When we flip it too soon, it usually breaks apart. Meanwhile, we're gonna mince a small thumb-sized piece of ginger, as well as three cloves of garlic, and we're gonna add this to a pot on high heat along with a bit of vegetable oil. We're gonna let it cook for a couple minutes, adding a splash of water as needed to deglaze the pan, and all the while, we're gonna check on the tofu. We're gonna give it a turn periodically so that it cooks evenly on a few of its sides. Back to the pot, we're gonna add three tablespoons of a Thai red curry paste and cook it for an extra minute, stirring and checking on the tofu if needed. And we're then gonna add two vegetable bouillon cubes, two and a half cups of boiling water, a can of coconut milk, two tablespoons of sodium reduced soy sauce, and two teaspoons of sambal hot sauce, which is optional. We'll then thinly slice a red bell pepper and cut those slices in half and add this to the pot as well. Then give it a stir, partially cover it with a lid and let it sit and simmer for about five minutes. By now the tofu should be crispy and done cooking and if it is, we're just gonna set it aside. For this recipe, I also use these instant whole grain rice noodles, which cooks in only three minutes. If you're using noodles that take a little longer to cook, just keep in mind you're gonna wanna add it in a little bit sooner. Next, we'll cut the ends off of two small heads of bok choy, making sure to give it a rinse. Back to the pot, we're gonna add the noodles. I used about 125 grams worth. Then give it a stir. You're gonna notice the noodles should immediately start to soften. Then we're gonna add the bok choy, stirring that in as well. Finally, after the three minutes are up, we're gonna add the cooked tofu and that's it. Just remove it from the heat, grab your garnishes, pour yourself some tea and scoop up this slurp-worthy soup into some bowls. As with most things, the toppings are the best part. So here we added some fresh basil, fresh bean sprouts, some sliced scallions as well. And you can also serve some fresh sliced chili or lime wedges on the side. We've got whole grains from the noodles, plant-based protein from the tofu, and plenty of veg and greens both added into the soup and garnished on top. So all of the meals I'm sharing with you in today's video, we try to follow the plate method. That way we're making sure that the meals are nutritionally balanced and adequate. We've made a video on this topic so if you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it for you here and in the description box below in case you wanna learn more. The next dinner that we're gonna make are these colorful tempeh tacos served with a cashew lime cream. The grain or starch in this recipe comes from the flour tortillas, or in our case, the corn tortillas. The plant-based proteins here are from the tempeh and cashews, and as always, loads of veg. First, we'll chop two shallots and mince three cloves of garlic. We're gonna add this to a nonstick pan on high heat with a bit of vegetable oil and cook it for a couple minutes until it's lightly golden, adding splashes of water as needed to deglaze the pan. Then we're gonna crumble a block of tempeh with our hands into the pan and let it cook for about seven minutes, stirring until it's lightly golden and crispy, continuing to add splashes of water as needed. Meanwhile, we're gonna make the cashew cream by adding half a cup of raw cashews to a food processor, along with the juice of one lime and a third a cup of boiling water. Then blend it until it's creamy, adding more water if you like a thinner consistency. Back to the pan, we're gonna add two teaspoons of onion powder, a teaspoon of paprika powder, a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of chili powder, which is optional, and half a teaspoon of dried oregano. Then saute this for 20 seconds or until the spices are fragrant. And then we're gonna add one can of diced tomatoes and two tablespoons of sodium reduced soy sauce. Cook this for another three minutes or so, and now is a good time to also heat up our corn or flour tortillas on a skillet. When the tempeh has absorbed most of the moisture, we're gonna remove it from the heat. Then comes the assembly. We're just gonna scoop some of the tempeh mixture into our warmed tortillas and add the toppings, which are always the best part. So here we added some ripe avocado, diced red onions, some chopped cherry tomatoes, fresh coriander, sliced red chili, 
some fresh lime juice, and of course, the cashew cream. And there you have it. It's a super wholesome, delicious, vibrantly colored dinner. You can also really play around with this one, turn it into a taco salad, wrap it into a burrito. And if tempeh isn't your thing, you can crumble tofu in here instead or substitute it for one and a half cups of cooked lentils. The last recipe is perfect as we enter the spring and summer months. It's a refreshing and hearty quick pea basil pesto pasta. The grain in this recipe is of course the pasta. You can choose for whole grain if you prefer. The plant-based proteins come from the peas and the pine nuts and as always, veggies and greens in abundance. First, we're gonna finely mince four cloves of garlic and add our pasta to salted boiling water and cook it until it's al dente. For this recipe, we use 250 grams of linguine. We'll then roast half a cup of pine that's in a pan on high heat for two minutes, stirring throughout, and then reserve a little bit for garnish and add the rest of it to a food processor. To the same pan, we're gonna add a teaspoon of oil and the garlic, sauteing this for a couple minutes and adding a splash of water as needed to deglaze the pan. We're gonna add this to the food processor as well. Next, we're gonna dice a couple of shallots, and here I'm gonna use two large roasted bell peppers that come from the jar that were in water. These get diced up as well. Back to the pan, we're gonna add another teaspoon of oil and the shallots, letting it cook for a couple of minutes. And while the shallots cook, we're gonna go back to the food processor. We're gonna add a cup and a half of cooked peas, the juice from one lemon, two tablespoons of olive oil, and a heaping cup of fresh basil and some salt and pepper. Then blend it until it's as creamy as you can get it. Back to the shallots, they should be starting to caramelize by now, so we're gonna also add those roasted bell peppers. And when the pasta is done, we're gonna drain it, rinse it, and return it to the pot. Add the shallot mixture on top, pour over the pea pesto, and give it a mix. When you've removed it from the heat and you're ready to serve it, that's when we're also gonna add a couple of handfuls of arugula and give it a stir. Then plate it generously, top it with some fresh peas and some of those reserved pine nuts if you'd like, maybe a bit of freshly cracked black pepper or some freshly squeezed lemon, and that's it. This one is delicious both hot and also cold, kind of like a pasta salad, and leftovers of this taste incredible. So it's perfect to take for lunch the next day if you didn't finish it all in one go. I recently did an Instagram story question asking what kind of videos you wanted to see more of, and this was by far the most requested. Just some quick, easy vegan dinners. So I hope this has given you some more recipes that you can add to your arsenal, things that you can try out. And again, thank you to Wix for partnering with us on today's video. So I created the Pickup Limes website myself a couple of years ago using Wix the same time I started this YouTube channel. But before that, I still had the Pickup Limes blog, but it was on another platform. And I had to hire a web developer that had to code and create it all for me. It was pretty expensive. I was a student at the time. And to be honest, I feel like I didn't have much control over it. Even after he created it, I wanted to move things around and I couldn't do it without his help and without having to pay more. And then I had a friend of mine tell me about Wix. He said it was completely free to try and that I would have total creative freedom over my own site. I figured there was no harm in giving it a go and you know how that story ends. I always recommend it to anybody who's interested in creating their own professional looking website or blog. And again, completely free to try for an unlimited amount of time. So if you're interested in learning more, I'll leave a link for you in the description box below. And I think that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, it always means a lot when you give it a thumbs up, shows a lot of love and support. Thanks a lot for watching. Pickup Limes signing off, and we'll see you in the next video. Best part about filming recipe videos. <laughs> <laughs>